Hello, this is Cindy and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at a chindi rug and what you can do with it. I spent last night tearing one apart and boy, wait till you see what came out of it. Amazing stuff. The, the After we take a look at the rug and what we can do with that, I'm going to take you into the craft room. And we're going to take a look at some things that I just got from Goodwill. And uh, yeah, we'll just do a little short little haul video. Not much, just a little bit. All right, I'm going to stop my camera. I'm going to flip you around and show you what's going on. So this is Annie. You have heard me talk about her before. And she has come in to see what on earth we are doing. She's very confused by this whole thing. So this is the chindi rug. It is from India, and I have the packaging here that it was put in. This is uh, 36 inches by 60 inches, which makes it three foot wide by five foot long. That's a big piece. Annie ran away. I started talking. She ran away. Um, and it says it's hand woven, and I kind of hope it's, if it is, I just ripped apart somebody's hand woven work. Um, and this is what came out of it. On the label, one of the things it does say, if I can get it to, so this rug is made from repurposed fabric. And I love the fact that they have taken all of these fabric scraps. Let me pull one out here. And this is what is made is in the rug itself. Let me hang on. I'm going to pause you so I can set this in a better position. Okay, I think this is a little bit easier to see what's going on here. So these are all the, these are strips. Or there's the pile of strips. When you take them out, this is what you end up with. And several of these are very, very thin. It's a very pretty, very thin cloth. Um, it says it's, the label says it is 90% polyester and 10% cotton. I think... I'm not entirely sure that that is an accurate piece. It also says that you can machine wash them. I would do it in cold water and uh, then line dry. Definitely line dry this because being a weaver myself, and I'm going to show you the, the weft. The, the, those are the lines that go this way. We, warp goes this way. Weft goes this way. And I'm going to show you the weft in a minute. And you'll see why I would strongly suggest you do not put this in a dryer. I also would suggest you don't be, you got to be careful. I'm obviously going to spend my, the rest of my day at the ironing board. So I'm going to iron all of these out nice and flat, but I wanted to show you this piece. This has little bits of, I don't know if it's actually metal or if that's plastic, but it's shiny. So this one, I will be ironing underneath a, sorry, come on, focus on me. Thank you. Um, this one, I will be ironing underneath a towel coming over to the other knee over here, you can also see that some of these are pieces that have been put together. Let me flip over and you can see the other side. There are two different pieces that have been sewn together. This particular piece is nice and long, but you can see that you have all of this stitching. Now, as a junk journaler, that's texture. This is gonna be absolutely beautiful as a flip in one of my journals and believe me, I'm going to do it. Come on, focus on, on that. The other pile I wanted to show you was this little pile. These are all small pieces. Most of these pieces are, are only, um, a, it might be what, six inches there might be a, a, a six inch square. So not all of the pieces that you get out of here are going to be long and skinny. In fact, some of them are long and fat. Taking a look at this one here, this one's uh, almost eight inches across. And then you get this one, you know, which is this much. And it's two pieces sewn together. So you have a lot of choices in here and a lot. I'm going to spend my day ironing these so that I can use them in my journals. And then I have decided I'm going to 
categorize them in two different piles. I'm going to categorize them by color first, and then those which will make good flaps for journals, uh, and those that will make good tassels. Like this short one here that is not really wide enough to do anything with, that's going to make a great tassel, or part of a tassel anyway. You know, you put them together, you've got two pieces there, you put a couple of other skinny ones together, and you have yourself a tassel. So I'm, I'm going to do tassels and that which can be used in the junk journaling. And I'm also going to be giving some of this away. So if you are interested in getting any of this, make sure you contact me. Easiest way to do that is, well, put a note in the uh, comments, but if you don't want to put your email in there, and I strongly suggest you don't, go to my Facebook page and contact me through my Facebook page. The link for that is down below in the comment, in the description. Just go to my Facebook page and then you can message me from there. Uh, because I will be giving some of this away. I will be ripping this one apart too eventually, but there is so much out of just one. And okay, where did I get this? I got this from Five Below. Um, in fact, I bought these at the one um, up by Eastview Mall. Um, there's a Walmart Plaza and there's a Five Below in, uh, in the Walmart Plaza. And you had to search for them. The first ones I found were made of yarn, and I definitely didn't want the yarn one. And I had read online that they were at Five Below, so I kept searching, and I found them in a corner facing the wall. So it took a little bit of doing to find them. They were it, both of them. And now hold on to your hats. The rug was $5.59 for all of this, $5.59. Obviously, I bought two rugs. My husband bought a third rug in neutrals. Silly man, he's going to actually use it as a rug. Uh, he wanted one for his side of the bed. He said that rug over there on that side is getting pretty worn. And he said, I think I'd like a new rug over there. So he got for $5.59. He has a five by a five foot long by three foot wide rug to put beside him on the bed. We thought about getting one to take down to the cabin, but we decided not to because the, we have discovered that the mice will just eat them. They they like to eat things. The other piece I wanted to show you, and I don't know if I can zoom in on that. There I go, a little bit. This pile of string, yeah, that's what came out of the rug. And I will tell you, I got out my seam ripper because I thought I was going to have to cut all of those strings. Those knots down there easily come out. Well, not easily. You kind of got to work at them, but I have fingernails. So, but you can untie the strings and then just pull everything out. This is, that's what made me first think, you know what? I wonder if this is hand woven. And sure enough, it is. All right. I'm going to pause you again and take you into the other room and I'm going to show you what else I got on this shopping haul. Be back in a minute. I'm going to hand hold for just a moment while I show you these because I have already filled them up. This was a nice set of drawers that I've now filled with my stamp pads because my stamp pad storage was getting very very full and you can see that this will get very full very quickly as well. Um, I still have the flip up up here. I know that opens. There we go. I haven't put anything in there yet. Uh, we'll see what goes in there. <laughs> Excuse me. And I just put a couple things in the back here. A couple stamps. But that was $3 at Goodwill. I love it. You know, I came home. I cleaned it up. It was just a little dusty. It was fine. So that was one part of my haul. The other part of my haul that's on my desk now is this turny thingy. I like this a lot. I put my glues down at the bottom so they're right there and my punches that I use all the time at the top. There's my corner rounder, there's another corner rounder, and there's my, uh, that, what is that? How much, how big is that? It's my three quarter inch punch and this is my one and a half inch punch. I'm still, sorry, 
off that's my one and a half inch punch uh i'm looking for a one inch punch i'm still looking that's my other piece and then my other part of the haul for i think two dollars all of these stamps so i'm going to Pause you, put you overhead, and we're going to take a look at these stamps. I have not opened the package yet. I have no idea what's in here and what's going to be useful. We'll find out in a minute. And I'll have you overhead, and let's take a look at what's inside this bag, which is also stapled. Okay. That's all right. We're, obviously, they didn't want anything to fall out of it. What you get, you get everything. Okay, so there's a little schoolhouse or a church. I'm going to hold them up so that you can see it. I also think, uh, hang on, I'm going to turn on my light. Okay, there, I turned on my light. That might make it a little bit easier to see things. So there's the church or the schoolhouse. Oh, there's a kitten. I am definitely going to be doing a kitten journal very soon. I've been collecting things for a while. There's a bow and, uh, I don't know, just a little swag okay that's a bird don't know that i'll keep the bird so i'm going to set the bird aside anything i'm not keeping i'm putting off to the side there's another little bird house that says welcome on it we'll put the we'll put the houses things together here because i see another house here and that just looks like a regular house so somebody had a good time with houses Okay, that looks like, I guess, a duck. I'm going to put that over with the bird. And we have a turtle. We'll put that with the bird. I think putting all my animals together will make decisions. There's a butterfly. I like butterflies, and I have actually a couple of other butterfly ones. There's a tree. It's nice to see that kind of a tree. These are obviously well used. Okay, we have here a triangle which could be interesting as a geometric figure and a little basket with a butterfly going off of it it's very small Let's set that with the other butterfly this says 100 percent oh now i could have used this when i was teaching that would have been a nice stamp to be able to put on the kids papers this one is the iconic love I'm not, I don't do cards, and a lot of these look like they would be better for cards. We have some flowers, obviously part of the same stamp set. This says super job. I wonder if these belong to a teacher, because that would have been another one to have when I was teaching. Baseball. I don't have anybody in my life that plays baseball anymore, and I'm not a baseball fan, so... There's a nice leaf. We'll put that over with the tree. That's a teddy bear holding some balloons, but he's very, very small. Where are you, camera? There we go. He's very, very small. <clears throat> There's another leaf. I kind of like the leaves. So I can use those in a nature journal. There's another leaf. This is an oak leaf. I have the sun. Here comes the sun. Da, 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 da. I know I'm dating myself. There's a frog. I'll put him with the animals. And a cow. I should do that for my brother. He used to collect cows. He doesn't anymore. Oh, another leaf. Looks like it might have been an entire set at one point. A cloud. And we'll put this cloud with the sun. This is a tiny little heart with some holly leaves. So that might be more of a Christmas. We'll put that with the love stick, the love stamp. This is a big stamp. What is this? That's a backpack. I'll bring it up here where you can see it. There's a backpack and some a thistle and some butterflies and some bees. That could be interesting to play with. We'll put that. I know I'm setting them up off camera, but that's okay. Uh, we have a kite which I'm willing to bet goes with it because everything's so primary. This one says Merry Christmas on it. I definitely will keep that. We can put that with, over here with that triangle. I have, oh, that's a cherry. 
and put that with the food. Did I have a food one yet? I do not have a food pile. All right, we'll make a food pile over there. This is just a little, I don't know, little flower, I guess. I'll hold that up so you can see it, just a little flower. I'll put that with the butterfly and the flowers over there. This is an M. So obviously whoever owned this, this was probably one of their um, initials. I do have an entire set of alphabet, a couple of alphabets over there. So maybe I'll just stick that with my alphabet. I have a stick. Never seen a stick stamp before. Another frog. I'll put over him over with the frog. A horsey. And the cow and the horse look like they came maybe out of the same set. So we'll put the cow and the horse together. It's a Christmas candle. We'll put that with the Christmas. We have a puppy dog who probably came out of the same set as the, you know what? I'll bet all of these came out of the same set. They all have a similar way of looking. We'll put those guys all together. Have another little tiny butterfly. You know what these are good for? These are great for making a border. The little stamps. Those are, are nice for that. Bunny rabbit. Pretty much it's sure it's out of the same set. And then the last one is basketball with a basketball hoop. So we have the baseball and the basketball. My son used to play basketball. Actually, he played both of those in, in high school. All right, so I have all of these new stamps, and I will make decisions about which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to give away. But there are a lot, and I'm willing to bet that you know you guys all look like you belong in the same set. Hang on, I wonder if you guys do too. I bet I can make a box out of these. Almost. Almost. Pretty sure that was a set at one point. Let me pull it up into the camera frame a little bit. I'm a little out of the light. There we go. All right. So on this fabulous Friday, we've taken a look at a chindi rug. I am going to go spend my afternoon ironing those out. And then I'm going to figure out which ones are going to make great flaps in my fabric flaps in my journals, which ones I'm going to turn into tassels, and which ones I'm going to give away. So again, if you're interested in any of that, please make sure you let me know in the comments or go to my Facebook page and PM me there or just send me a note there. I will put in, uh, you'll be able to write notes. Uh, I, I will post a link to this video on my Facebook page and you can just put a note in there. All right. This has been a great, fabulous Friday. I can't wait to start playing with these stamps, but first I have to go iron. Till later, this is Cindy signing off.